You know, I think my favorite comment for the month of January, since it's drawing to a close, my favorite comment that I read this month was somebody said, because of the facial hair that I have now, King Boomer is slowly transforming into a Civil War general. <laughs> Welcome back, my favorite Muppets. How we doing? It's good to see you folks. Uh, today, we are going to get into reaction that has to entail Harry and Paul. That's right, Harry Enfield and Paul Whitehouse. Two blokes that I'm very fond of because of you guys who have suggested them on the channel constantly. But uh, this one, I admit this is not one that was submitted. This is one that I found. I just, I, for some reason, I was like, I gotta watch some Harry and Paul tonight. So, I found this clip. This one is called Dragon's Den. Uh, hip Hop Alphabet. Which I don't know what Hip Hop Alphabet is. But Dragon's Den, I assume that they're gonna uh, make a spoof of that show. Which I've seen before. It, this particular clip, though, is about 14 years old. I didn't know that show was that old. Maybe it was a British show before an American sh became... A popular American show. Maybe they did an American version of it later on. I don't know, but I remember the one that's... Uh, I mean, I, I think it's still on. It's the one... It's got that guy who owns the Dallas Mavericks on there, uh, among other people. And then they, you know, try to get them in, to invest in something. And it's usually goofy shit. So, I can not only imagine what this is going to be, but that's why we're going to find out. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. Check below and hit that icon notification bell and subscribe to make sure you get caught up with all the videos that the channel drops. All right. But for now, we're going to get into Harry and Paul Dragon's Den, the spoof. Let's see how this goes. Here we go, folks. Next came Ken and Brian from Brian Farley with their interesting take on hip gear. I'm Brian. Um, this is my co-director, Ken. Hello. Um, and this is our crown. It's uh, an iconic form of headgear as worn by monarchs uh, the world over, both historically and now Lee. It kind of looks like the crown that I have in my icon. A little bit. Although it's not jewel encrusted like that one is. Uh, shout out to Adam. Thank you for that icon, by the way. He's the one who designed it. Um, but yeah, I'd rock that. Hell yeah. Over to you, Ken. Thanks, Brian. We manufacture these... <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, would it be all right if I started the game? <laughs> what? Suffocate. We manufacture these crowns in China. Uh, they're made of a composite plastic, quite chunky, uh, you're welcome to try it on if you want, Duncan. No. <laughs> Bro, that was one of the funniest nose I've ever seen, man. No. No. The manufacturing and shipping costs are 25 pounds, and we're looking at a retail price of 100 pounds. That's a regal product. <laughs> the grumpy woman. Please go ahead, grumpy woman. What size investment are you looking for? We're looking for an investment of 100 million pounds for a 1% stake in our business. Blimey, O'Reilly, you're going to have to sell it an awful lot of crowns. On the contrary, we have enormous respect for our monarchy and we don't intend to devalue its currency by mass marketing our crown. So how many are you looking to sell in a year? Three. <laughs> what? Three crowns per year. That's correct, yeah. Off with their heads. <laughs> <laughs> Off with their heads. I love that saying from Alice in Wonderland. That's uh, I don't remember much of that movie when, from when I was a kid. That is a weird cartoon movie, man. I've never seen the live action version of it, but definitely my favorite saying, and I do say it from time to time. Off with their heads. Love that saying. Let me get the state. You want a hundred million pounds for one percent of your company. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. And you intend to sell three crowns a year at £100 each, minus costs, making you a net profit of £225. A <laughs> unit, yes. No, in total. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you not see the shortfall? No. You can't see the difference between 100 million pounds and 225 pounds. Not really, no. <laughs> Oh, just when I think this this one is a little bit stale, it's like they add all the sweating and stuff around him. This is ridiculous, dude. Seem to have massively overvalued their company, but Brian can't see it. You're a bloody idiot. You're a bloody idiot. Oh. And now he's upset the dragons too. <sighs> and Ken's had a heart attack. <sighs> So far this evening, the dragon. Oh my <laughs> god, look at his ears! Who is that supposed to be, man? Those are the biggest. He could fly away with those things. Look at those. Oh my god. If he enters Vietnam, they're gonna think a Huey's flying overhead. He would intend to depart with any of them. <laughs> it's like cell tape, yes, but without the sticky bit. It's the Nazi kettle. <laughs> what? The hip hop alphabet. A motherfucker B. I would definitely buy one of these. Oh my god. I would definitely buy one of these. This is one of the funniest things. If that was real, I'd get one. Oh my god. Alphabet. A. Motherfucker. B. C. Motherfucker. D. Motherfucker. F. Motherfucker. Wu-Tang. Oops, you missed up. E. Motherfucker. Oh my god, that was so good at the end. Oh my god. Yes, I would buy one. I would buy one. I would definitely buy one of those and send it to a family member right away. Oh my god, hip hop alphabet. <laughs> Yo, Harry Enfield and his skits are so absurd. But I think I think the best version because Harry Enfield has so many different shows, it seems like, and so many different characters. I think he works best when he's working with Paul Whitehouse. From all the uh, things that I've seen and the reactions I've done, I think he works best with Paul Whitehouse. The ki the chemistry between them two is just bar none. That's the best pairing. I mean, I guess you could say Kathy Burke because I did recently watch. Um, Kevin and Perry Your Large, which I really liked. Some people said it was it's kind of a childish movie, but I, which I agree, but it was, I loved it. And Kathy Burke was great in that, and they have great chemistry in that movie. But uh, yeah, I think Harry Enfield works best with Paul Whitehouse. There's just there's just something about it that always puts a smile on my face. It always makes me laugh hysterically, and they they do great work together. So double thumbs up from me. Um, the Dragon's Den bit was pretty funny too, but nothing beats the hip hop alphabet. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna be laughing about that for the next 10 minutes. Uh, well, what did you guys think? Um, if you have any more Harry and Paul suggestions, put them in the comments below. But anyway, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I'm King Boomer, I'm out of here, and you guys have a lovely day. Stay safe out there. And don't let anybody get you down, okay? Love you, Muppets. Have a lovely evening.